benefits of taking a slight diet break for your body composition and fat loss. As much as we have specific goals and we have body recomposition goals, we wanna train hard, we wanna lose that fat, taking a break from that consistency within your nutrition and training can be an amazing thing for your body and your mind. I'm here in beautiful Miami this weekend and I was looking forward to taking a little bit of downtime from tracking my macros, focusing on my caloric intake on a daily basis, still getting a workout in, but taking some downtime. Going hard out until you reach your goal it is not sustainable and you cannot do it and enjoy life for long stints or long periods of time. And you will unfortunately experience some unpleasant side effects during this course when you are training hard and you are really honed in on a caloric deficit on the daily. And those unpleasant side effects will hit you both mentally, physically, and emotionally. Being in a constant caloric deficit does have its downfalls. When you are training for a sport specific event, you are training for a certain specific goal, or you have a certain body composition goal to achieve or a weight loss goal. And yes, as amazing it is to have those consistent and specific goals, it does wreak havoc on your body when you do it from a long-term approach. Looking lean, ripped, sculpted, yes, everyone or a lot of people have that specific goal in mind to get ripped, get lean, get sculpted, and maintain that physique for the long haul. But you can do it in the right way and not wreak havoc on your body and your mind. Your body will start giving you little mixed signals in regards to you're not fueling it enough to get through those hard intense workouts or workouts at all. Does not matter the intensity of that workout, your body is starting to get exhausted. And I know I've been there myself trying to mash through a workout and being in a caloric deficit for a long duration of time. It's just the workouts are not enjoyable anymore. I actually started dreading my workouts because I felt miserable trying to actually execute them. Sometimes when you are in a caloric deficit, that irritability starts to hit you, those hunger cues start to hit you, and that's actually quite normal. But the longer you try to sustain a strict diet, trying to chase those specific goals of being lean, sculpted, and ripped, there will be some downfalls and some consequences in the long run. And the serious those consequences will be. I've experienced hormonal imbalance, irritability. My recovery rate has been extremely slow. My metabolic rate shifted, started to go downhill. My sleep patterns were disrupted. I started losing muscle mass. And above all, my gym performance sucked. It became extremely difficult to stay consistent because I was so focused on staying in that strict caloric deficit for a long-term duration, not giving myself any balance or room to move. Committing to a certain duration fat loss goal, specific goal within a specific tailored program is fine for most people. So I started taking a different approach. Be less strict within my dieting approach and be more open to taking a balanced approach. And as a fitness professional, it's extremely important to practice what I preach. Whether you're in an aggressive deficit, a slight deficit, or you're within a maintenance phase, it is all differential for each person and is not based on general population. Either way, benefits of taking a slight break from your diet focus is a wonderful strategy to practice and have. Taking a diet break is not go all out, just wreak havoc and just eat whatever is in front of you. There should be a strategy and a mindful approach within your maintenance phase or your little break. It needs to be structured and mindful. These are little temporary breaks that have allowed myself and my clients to see the benefits of taking these breaks mentally and physically. Help break through plateaus and adaptations. You can overall feel better, let yourself refocus, refuel, and recharge. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Taking a step back and a slight unfocus from my caloric intake and macronutrient intake allows me to step back in and focus even better than what I did before I took my slight break. It has allowed myself to be more flexible and enjoy special occasions. I'm in Miami. I'm going to a wedding. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't wanna create a mental anguish or any kind of stress because I'm stepping outside 
of what I would usually consume on a daily basis or within my routine. Life is all about enjoying special occasions with friends, families, and loved ones. You don't want to allow your food consumption to pull you away from those special events. I take little short breaks of two to three days just to reset, refuel, and refocus, but always being mindful of what I'm consuming. So when should you take a break from your diet? When you mentally and physically feel the effects in a negative connotation. If it's creating a life of irritability, being miserable, and just not feeling like you want to even work out or focus on your food intake anymore. Take a break, step back so you can step back in stronger and better than what you were before. So embrace your break, embrace your vacation, embrace whatever kind of little break you are taking. It will pay off in the long run and you will probably come back better and stronger than ever before. Food should not dictate your life. You have full control over your decisions and actions and your outcome. So get out there, enjoy life, take a break from your dieting. It's all about enjoying the process.